Hello guys. Trying to get this camera straight. If you're there, can you say hello? Okay. Just gonna wait a couple minutes to see who is joining us tonight. And when you come on, just share that you're here and tell us where you're watching from. Hey, Shiera. Hey, Keenan. I don't know if I said that wrong. I hope I did. What's up, sis? Hey, Nikki. Selena. Oh, good. I said that right. Sharia. Hey, Maria. Oh, her Marie. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to wait a few minutes for people to get on. You can share this demonstration by clicking the little button on your left in the bottom. Nikki from D.C. That's my sister, y'all. Yvonne, tell us where you're watching from, guys. Shawana, hey girl. Hey, Craig, what's up? <laughs> this is what I do after hours. I cook. Ardina, there's Connecticut in the house. Hey, Marie, watching from DC. Where is my DOC? Your doc? Oh, your document. <laughs> I owe that. I owe that. I'll get it to you. Hey, Nakia. Hey, Amy. Shawana from Brooklyn, New York. All right. We got a lot of people joining tonight. I love it. Yes. Share too. Thank you. You guys share. Share this video so that people, other people can watch the demonstration. Ardina, you, you in Maryland. Hey, Nell. That's my bestie. What's up? <laughs> All right, so tonight, guys, and I'm still going to let people get a chance to come on. I'm going to move my little pan real quick. Um, from Bowie. I know that's right. Um, so tonight, we're going to be making some, some white wine garlic shrimp. And the way I'm going to make it is as if you were doing kind of like an appetizer, um, but it could be a meal for some people, but I'll let you know also that you could also flip this and hey Joan Thanks for watching um, But you can also flip this and make it into a meal with like maybe some linguine and put, pour the shrimp in the sauce over it uh, You guys know I am a sauce fiend. I will make sauce until I die I'm always trying to come up with new sauce so I hope that you enjoy it. For those of you who just just joined us, we're making a white wine garlic shrimp. Um, and we're actually going to see these little baguettes. We're going to toast this bread. And then we are going to put the shrimp on top of it and pour the sauce all over it. So you're going to have that bread all soaked up with that butter garlic wine sauce. It's going to be so freaking good. Carissa, Stefina, Robert, thank you for watching. You guys that's coming on, tell us where you're watching from and press the share button so that other people can watch. Hey, Jeff, what's up? All right, we, we got a whole lot of people in the house today. I am loving it. Yes. what you say, Robert? Mmm, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so um, welcome, Camille. All right, so this dish is actually really simple. I try to do really simple dishes um, just because, you know, everybody works and they come home, you, you know, you feel tired, but it's nice to make something really good that's really easy and pretty fast to make. So again, for those of you, hey, from Charleston. All right, Carissa. Um, so for those of you who just joined, we're making a white wine garlic shrimp. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is I have a little a skillet here and then I put some olive oil in the pan and then I put it over an eye and that's on medium heat. Um, I also put my oven on broil, okay, because we're going to toast our little baguettes that we're going to put the shrimp on top and then we're going to um, pour the sauce on top of that. So... Um, Okay, guys, make sure you hit the share. Give me thumbs up and love if you're enjoying this. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is I have some shrimp here. 
And these are the jumbo size. Um, I don't really feel like they look jumbo, but the guy said it was jumbo. And they are peeled and deveined, okay? I, I keep the little tip on because there's a lot of, like, flavor up in there. There's a lot of sauce, juice that is in that that I don't want to lose. Um, so what we're going to do is the first thing that I did was I washed them. But whenever you're going to cook shrimp, uh, especially when you're sautéing it, hey, Conchetta, um, whenever you're sautéing it, you want to always, you wash it but then you need to dry it so take a paper towel and pat it dry to make sure you get all the all the excess water um, that might be holding on okay so what i'm going to do is again i have my skillet right here and it's been over medium heat with a little olive oil and all i'm going to do is add this shrimp right into that pan and i'm going to show you what i'm doing hold on hey ingrid let me just move my Thing a little bit without dropping it all right so what I'm gonna do hey Taurus from Richmond Virginia so again this is my this is my shrimp guys so you can see that and I'm just gonna put it right into that and you hear that sizzle sizzle right now I didn't I didn't do a lot of shrimp because again I'm doing this as kind of an appetizer but if you're gonna do it as a meal then I suggest you, you know, using a little bit more shrimp. I have about 12 pieces of shrimp in here right now. So if anybody on this live knows anything, hey, Monique, hey, Vanessa, let us know where you're watching from. Um, if anybody knows about shrimp, you know that it does not take but a hot second to cook or you will overcook it and then it will taste kind of rubbery. You don't want that. You want to be able to bite into it and, and just be succulent. You'd be like, oh, my goodness, right? All right, so literally it might take 30 seconds to a minute on each side. So I'm bringing out my tongs and I'm just gonna watch these. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of seafood seasoning. Sometimes I use Obey. All right, NYC in the house. Hey, Camille. Um, hey, Michelle. Hey, Monique. Um, so I, this is seafood seasoning and it's made by McCormick. Um, Sometimes I, I use the Old Bay. You know, of course, back in the day, everybody used Old Bay. Um, hey, Tracy. What's up? Share this video, guys. Um, but this lately, I've been really enjoying this seafood seasoning by McCormick. It's really good. All right. So I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on my shrimp. Not too much. You don't need a whole lot. Okay. So I'm just going to let that cook up. Um, and like I said, it, it'll cook really fast. So we're going to start working on prepping our, our bread. So again, I have these little pieces of baguettes. And I'm trying to see. I don't want the, the light to, to blind this. So, But these are little baguettes, pieces of bread. And all I did was I took a, a big baguette that I bought from the grocery store, and I just sliced it up, okay? And I made myself eight slices because I'm gonna do eight shrimp with some sauce on top. So all I'm gonna do is take this bread, and all I'm gonna do is put a little bit of olive oil on each one. Hey, Phila, what's up, Lisa? Hey, Darlene, let us know where you're, you're joining us from, okay? So I took that olive oil and I just brushed it on my bread, okay? And you guys that have watched some of my other videos, you know that I love to put, uh-oh, hold on. I love to put a little bit of Italian seasoning on my bread, okay, to give it, pump up the flavor. So, you see that? I just put a little bit of seasoning on there. So, I'm just going to do that to all of the pieces of bread, and I'll let you see that. See that right there? So I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil, olive oil, okay, and then I'm just going to brush that, and you can just use a spoon if you don't have a brush, um, but what I'm going to do is just sprinkle that with a little bit of Italian seasoning, okay, and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and take a piece of aluminum foil 
And I'm gonna go ahead and flip my shrimp because it's been cooking on one side. And I'm just gonna turn them over because again, shrimp does not take but a hot second to, to cook up. So you wanna flip it over. Hey, Ardell, what's up? What you say, it smells good? You got smell-o-vision? <laughs> it does smell good though. All right, so we're gonna flip these shrimp uh, so that they don't overcook here. And this, this is going to be so, this meal is going to be so fast, guys. All right. So I have my shrimp flipped. I'm going to put a little bit more seasoning on the other side. Just for a little bit of color because it already has flavor. All right. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to my pan because I'm losing that. All right. So then I'm just going to take some foil. Hey, Dawn. What's up? Go ahead and tell us where you're watching from. Hey, Philip. All right, so I'm gonna put my, my bread on this aluminum foil. And I'm gonna let you see how that looks. So I just have that here. And all I'm gonna do is take that over to the oven and I'm gonna go ahead and broil that. And again, that only takes a couple minutes. You, you have smell-o-vision, Paul? Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go take my bread to the oven so that it can go under the broiler. I'll be right back. All right, so we got our bread broiling up or toasting up in the oven. And then we have our shrimp cooking. Now the shrimp are pretty much done. Like I said, it doesn't take but a hot minute. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my shrimp, I'm gonna scoop it up into a clean bowl. Okay, this is my shrimp. Doesn't that look good, guys? And I'm just gonna put it to the side. Okay, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the same pan that has all the juicy drippings from the shrimp, and we're gonna make our sauce. Okay, that's the white wine butter garlic sauce. And I just wanna show you, because I want you to see all this goodness. See all that? Those pieces of goodness that came from the shrimp, we're gonna use that up to flavor, okay? All right, so for our sauce, our sauce is really simple, um, and I say that lightly because I cook, I make sauces all the time. But the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of white wine, and it, it I promise you, it does not matter. People are like, oh, what kind of wine? It doesn't matter, just any kind of white wine, okay? Hey, Paul, oh, smell vision Don, what's up? Okay, so I have my white wine here, and again, it does not matter what kind of wine, okay? I promise you, it does not matter. And all I'm gonna do is literally, I'm just gonna pour it into my pan, and, and I have not turned the heat off, guys. It's still on medium. Uh, what you say, Alicia, yummy. Yes, indeed, it is good. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour my wine in here, okay? And I'm gonna um, turn that up a little bit because what I want is for the wine to reduce. Um, and then once, once that happens, we're gonna add in our, um, our butter, our garlic, a little Worcestershire, a little half and half cream, um, and some seasoning. And it's just, <laughs> ooh, when I tell you this sauce is something good, it's something good, all right. So I'm gonna go check real quick on my bread because I don't want that to burn. It doesn't take but a second. I'll be back. All right, here's our bread. It is nice and toasty and looking so yummy, yummy. I'm just gonna set that aside. This is our toast, okay? Nice and seasoned baguettes. And for those of you who just joined us, we're making a white wine garlic shrimp, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my plate off that I used before. Okay, all right, so we rinse that off because we're gonna use that to plate. All right, who else is there? Hey, Kelly, hi. Oh, my lens is foggy, really? Okay, let me see if I can wipe it off. Thank you for telling me. 
Is that better? Kelly, is that better? Not sure. Maybe it was the steam from the shrimp. That's possible. Okay, guys, let me know if you can see me. All right, so my white wine, like I said, I turned the pan from medium to high because I added my white wine and I wanted to reduce. Awesome. Thank you, Kelly. Because I wanted to reduce up um, or reduce down, I should say. <laughs> Um, but what I'm going to do is, before I add in the butter, I'm going to turn it back down to, awesome Kelly, thank you. I'm going to turn it back down to, uh, to medium because we got a good, nice reduction on the white wine. Yes, we can see. Thanks, Nell. All right, so I'm turning it back down to five, which is, for me, that's medium. So whatever half of your, your high is, that's where you need to turn it. Odell, I know that's going to be very, very good. What a great cook you are. Congratulations. What you say? Everyone can't. What? Everyone can't cook. <laughs> He's so silly. Thank you, Odell. All right. Make sure you guys are sharing. And if you're just joining, we're making a white wine garlic shrimp. Okay? All right. So I'm going to take my butter, and I am using um, unsalted butter. Okay? Because we're going to add seasoning. You don't need salt everywhere. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and add some butter to the pan. And I'm just going to let that melt up. And yes, I love butter. Don't hate me. I love butter. I know my bestie loves butter too. You said you're not the best cook, Kelly. I bet you are if you try. I bet you would be really good in the kitchen. All right, so my butter is melting. My wine is in there. And so the next thing I'm going to get is my garlic. Now, guys, I swear by this, and I know I show it almost every video where I use garlic. But this is crushed garlic in a small little container here. And, you know, you can get the fresh garlic and smash it, you know, whatever. But this right here is already smashed for you. I literally, all I do is open it up and I squeeze out what I need. So it's the bomb, okay? All right, so I just put a little bit. You don't want to put too much in here because, you know, garlic is really strong, but at the same token, yes, the butter, yes, nail. <laughs> but at the same token, you want to be able to taste that garlic flavor. So, all right, so what I'm going to do, my husband just sent me a note. Good luck on Facebook Live. Thank you, baby. <laughs> all right. So I'm just going to um, stir that up so you guys, so so far we have cooking in this pan, we have white wine that we reduced, we have unsalted butter that we let melt, and now we've added the garlic, and that is just mixing, yes, we all swear by garlic now, yes indeed. Alright, so this is, oh my god, this is smelling good already, because you know you smell the flavor from the shrimp and then the white wine and the butter and the garlic, it smells so good. All right, to top this off, I'm going to use a little bit of Worcestershire sauce because, again, I'm trying to give some flavor. Hey, Carlos. Hey, Dr. Michelle. What's up? Let us know where you're calling from, where you're watching from. We're making a white wine garlic shrimp, okay? So I'm making the sauce now. I already made my shrimp. I set them aside. I made my toast, my little baguette toast. I set those aside. Now I'm making the sauce. I use some wine, some unsalted butter some garlic, and now I'm adding just a little couple things of Worcestershire, not a whole lot of that, okay? And then, and you wanna always stir this, guys. I mean, use a whisk if you can. If you don't have one, you can use a spoon, but use a whisk if you can. Meanwhile, this is still on medium heat, cooking up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of half and half cream, and I'm just gonna pour that in, and you don't need a whole lot, but you, this helps it to become creamy, okay? I use this in my mac and cheese. Anything I want to be creamy, I use some half and half. Hey, Vicki. All right, let us know where you're watching from. Okay, so I'm going to add my cream in. All right. And so, again, here I go with my stirring. You want to always stir this. Anytime you're making a sauce, you want to constantly stir it so that it can reduce down to what you really want. Would you say, Nikki, white wine? Yes, absolutely, white wine. This is a white wine recipe. I do have some sauces that I make that are that use uh, red wine. Uh, for example, when I do my lamb chops or if I'm doing a roast, 
You watching from home, Vicky? I know that's right. Where is home? <laughs> it's home in Maryland. Where you watching from? All right. So I'm going to continue to stir this and let it cook over medium to high heat. And eventually, it is going to become nice and creamy for me. All right. Oh, from Waldorf. All right. Thanks, Vicky. Thank you for watching. Hardest working, working woman I know. Okay, Alex, you said you want to be in the video. I don't know how to get you in the video. I need to figure that out. I think then you can pop up and ask questions, I think. I have to research that. You said add DF. Hey, Donnell, thank you for coming. Yeah, I know. I'm not going to do it right now. I need to test it first because I don't want to do it and mess it up. You so saucy. <laughs> you so silly. <laughs> Alex, uh, Alex, I'll add you another time. Hey, Marcella. Hey, Vicki, you said I love when you share your recipes. I steal a lot of your recipes for Thanksgiving. I know that's right. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, Donnell. All right. Okay, so this sauce is cooking up nice, and oh my god, I wish you guys were in here to smell, because I'm going to tell you, this stuff is ridiculous, okay? Okay, one thing that I forgot to get, and that is um, some of my cilantro, and I know my bestie, she doesn't like cilantro, but I'm going to go get my cilantro, because that's what I use in here. You could choose to use parsley if you want, um, but we're going to give a little bit of color and a little bit of flavor to this sauce by putting that in. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. Hey, Mahogany. Of course, I'm going to post this recipe. Yes, I am. I have gotten it all straight. My redesign is done for She's Got Flavor. I'm going to post the recipe and then I'm going to drop the link underneath this Facebook Live. So anything that you've missed um, or, you know, of course, we don't have the measurements right here. I'm going to have all that in my post. So you will be good to go. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take my cilantro. And again, this is another little, this thing right here. This is cilantro in a little container. It was already chopped up for me. It's still fresh cilantro. It's just been topped up. Hey, Dennis. What's up, buddy? You, you live close to me. You, you might want to come over and get some of this shrimp. Tell Sharon she's invited too. <laughs> All right. So, guys, for those of you who just joined, we're like 90% done. And we're making a white wine garlic shrimp over some little small baguette toasts. Okay, and we're gonna we're just doing the um, the sauce right now. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Mahogany. Give me some thumbs up and some hearts then. And I hope you guys are sharing this video. All right, so I'm just gonna take some of the cilantro. You see that? And I'm just dropping it in. And I'm using a lot of it because I like it. <laughs> I like the way it looks and I like the flavor. All right, so the longer you let your sauce simmer, the creamier it'll get oh thank you mahogany i love it yes heart 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 what you say you need new pots and saucepan do you recommend a certain type Ooh. um for me like a lot of professional chefs they use um like the stainless steel personally um i i, I do not like stainless steel so I like something that has like a non-stick coating. Um, for me, thank you for sharing, Kelly. For me, I just think that's easier to cook with. Um, I just don't like, you know, my stuff sticking, and I don't like the way the stainless steel. Now, professional chefs, they swear by it. They say they wouldn't cook on anything else. But this is just me. Uh, where can you get cilantro? Girl, cilantro is in all the grocery stores. Um, either you can buy it in that container. Some people have it. I know Giant and Safeway, they have it. Um, and if they don't have the container, you can buy the fresh one and chop it up. You said, Daryl will be picking me up some shrimp baguettes so I can take it for lunch tomorrow. Okay, tell them to come on. Stop playing. All right. All right, guys. I swear I wish you was in here to smell this sauce. It's ridiculous. All right. 
Okay, so the sauce is pretty much done. So now what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna clean up a little bit around my area because I like to kind of clean as I go. That way you're not looking at a, a mess when you're done. All right, so we're gonna plate, we're gonna plate this. All right, so I'm gonna turn my sauce off, okay? And then I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna plate it. I don't know if you can see that very good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna cut one of these lights off. Hold on a second. Is that better? I think you can see a little bit better like that. But anyway, all right, so what I'm gonna do, I got my plate, I'm gonna take my baguettes and I'm just gonna layer them because we're gonna make it look pretty, all right? So I have eight, no, excuse me, I have six, all right? So I'm just gonna take my baguettes and then I've already toasted them and they have a little bit of Italian seasoning on top, okay? Then I have my cooked shrimp right here and then what I'm gonna do, hey Alyssa, is I'm just gonna put one piece of shrimp on each, on top of each baguette. And again, this is just me making it look pretty. You guys can, you know, play with this however you like. Um, but if you wanna impress somebody and make a pretty presentation, this is what you can do. All right, so I'm putting one piece of shrimp on each. All right, and then let me see, let me make this match. Turn this around, okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna grab some of that sauce, okay? And I'm just gonna pour it on top of each one. Oh my God, this is looking so freaking good, guys. <laughs> Woo, Lord have mercy. And I'm gonna point the camera directly on it in a minute so you guys can really see how it looks. But this is ridiculous. I mean, this right here, wow. If you can make this for you guys, if you have spouses or if you have a significant other or if you just have family members or friends you want to impress, this is it right here. All right, so what I'm going to, this looks beautiful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to point it down so you guys can see it, okay? Hold on, because I want you to really see this. It's, 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 it's important. The visual is just off the chain. All right. So, let me see. I'm trying to see if you can see it. Can you guys see? I want you to really see it. Okay. I'm trying to get you to see it. Let me see. There we go, a little bit. There we go. It's so good, guys. And I'm, I'm gonna take a picture of it, of course, and use the picture for the post. So you'll, you'll really be able to see the end result if you go back and look at the post. But, um, all right, yeah. So thanks, Kelly, yeah, absolutely. So I'm gonna post this video, um, and I'm also going to post the recipe on my website, and then I'm gonna drop the link. Um, <laughs> Paul, you said seal that up and put it in FedEx. I know that's right to Cali. All right. Um, okay. So guys, this was uh, a great video. We got the white wine, garlic, shrimp over baguette. I mean, <laughs> I can't wait to take a picture of this so you can see. Um, and again, guys, she's got flavor.com. That's my food blog. Um, I wanted to tell you really quick. You're welcome, Kelly. Before you go, um, Sugary Mercy, you know, you know, I have the mini pie company. Uh, we're doing another uh, pop up the 21st and 22nd of November. So right before Thanksgiving and I'm going to be doing pre orders for Thanksgiving. So if you wanted to order in bulk um, and I would have your your order already set aside for you. Um, but I'm going to I'm going to do a flyer or something. So you'll see that coming out soon. Uh, so again, she's got flavor.com is my Facebook. I'm sorry, my um, food blog. I'm going to put this recipe on there and drop the link down this Facebook. And then also sugarymercy.com. You can do pre-orders for Thanksgiving. I'll be at Bowie Town Center for the, for the pop-up the 21st and 22nd, Tuesday and Wednesday before Thanksgiving. 
Um, and I think that's it. And if you're not following me, go on Instagram. I'm at She's Got Flavor. I'm also at Sugary Mercy. And if you're not following me, you're just a friend on Facebook. You got to follow me, okay? And that's it. Thank you, Mahogany. Thank you for supporting us. Yes, Vicki, you do need to schedule your pre-order, okay? All right, guys. Until next time, She's Got Flavor. We'll see you later. Bye.